if House Republicans are really concerned about me taking too many executive actions, the best solution to that is passing bills. Pass a bill. No problem. Don't just say no on something that everybody agrees needs to be done. The president came before the nation today to say to House Republicans, OK, time's up. I've seen enough. A comprehensive immigration reform bill passed by the Senate one year ago that has been sitting and waiting for a vote in the Republican-controlled House that could very likely pass right now. If it was brought to the floor when Congress returns from vacation, that bill is dead. It's dead because the demagoguery around the humanitarian crisis at the border has made it clear now the base of the Republican Party will not budge on immigration legislation. If anything, it's managed to move to the right on the issue. That is what the president more or less acknowledged today. In, in, in its stead, he said he would be taking executive action. I take executive action only when we have a serious problem, a serious issue, and Congress chooses to do nothing. However, before he takes any action, the president says he's waiting on cabinet recommendations, likely before the end of the summer. In the meantime, he's also asking Congress to approve more than $2 billion in emergency funds to help the government respond to the large numbers of immigrants crossing the country's southwest border. Joining me now is Congressman Luis Gutierrez, Democrat from Illinois, chair of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Immigration Task Force. Congressman, you have been outspoken along with several others calling for the president to take executive action. What is your reaction to today's announcement from him? You know, um, Chris, you could hear the frustration uh, in his voice. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate that frustration, and I share it with the president of the United States. And I just want to put this in some kind of context, right? I mean, the Republicans said, uh, we don't want the Senate bill, and the president said, let's craft one in the House. Uh, the Republicans said, we want to do it piecemeal. And he said, okay. <laughs> they even said... They wouldn't oh, take yes for an answer. Every, no, they, they came back to... Everybody can't be a citizen right away. Did the president walk away from the table? At no time did he walk away from the table. And now, as you suggest, they took the issue of children, right, at our border, humanitarian crisis, to double down on that they're not going to do anything. But moreover, last week, Chairman Goodlatte of Judiciary Committee, who at the beginning of the year said this was going to be a big thing, immigration reform, said that the president's executive action that allowed 600,000 undocumented youth to be documented, the dreamers, that that thing should be just thrown asunder. Look, the president has the authority under the law, and I hope one day, Chris, you and I can have a conversation so that we can look at this, because I think the American people should look, should learn a little bit about the statutes that are on the books, mm -hmm. right? And show that the president has well, well, prosecutorial discretion. And not only that, I have the signature of a number of Republican, high-ranking Republicans, who have signed such a so, letter okay, so back. Explain, explain that, right? Because if, if the president's going to do something, the question then becomes, what, what can he do? What should he do? What is your recommendation in that regard? Here's my recommendation. Look. If the dreamers are good and the youth, let them be raised by their moms and dad and extend it to the mom and dads of those dreamers so that they can have a mom and a dad along their side. Those are the people that inculcate it. Look, Chris, you saw... Wait, wait, let me just stop you right there for, for, for folks that haven't tracked the policy here. The deferred action announcement by the president in 2012, which allowed children who were, born, who were brought here as children mm -hmm. to, to no longer face the scourge of deportation, you're saying extend, using that same executive architecture, extend yes. that to their immediate family. To their moms and to their dads. Yes, exactly to them. And then look, if we're going to deal with children, Chris, we have 5 million children in the United States whose parents are undocumented. We know that just in the last year, 72,000 American citizen children lost their mom or dad due to a deportation. And wow. thirdly, why do people have to leave the country to pick up a visa? I'm an American. Listen, I marry somebody who's an immigrant. Maybe she's undocumented in the United States, and then they say she has to return to Dublin or Mexico or the Philippines for 10 years before we can really consummate that marriage. The president can take those kinds of actions. Now, I will say one thing. You know, if you want to talk about brands, just like the Republicans said, no, 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 the president's yes should be broad, compassionate, and, and just and just generous as he can make it be um, because I think that's what's in his heart and he has said that he has instructed Homeland Security and other members he started that process three months ago and I just want to use this point just to yeah. show 
where, how far the president. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, the president said to his secretary of Homeland Security, you know those recommendations I asked you to make to ease the deportations? I don't want you to make them because I don't want to upset Republicans. And what was their response to, 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 to the president of the United States? We're going to take you to court. We're going right. to sue you if you use presidential authority. So, f finally, on, on the question of the unaccompanied minors, I mean, at the same time the president's talking about this, right, that he's talking about essentially we think some sort of moving towards executive action is going to reduce the amount of deportations, he's also asking for authority to speed up the deportation process for those unaccompanied minors who are showing up at the border who right now have a process, they, they have due process, they get a court date. He is asking us to be able to basically deport them right away. Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah, well, he's asking for money because it costs money right. to put these children in a safe place. But I just want to start with this. And, you know, I'm no, uh, how would I say, protector of the president or an apologist right. for it. But you've got to give them credit. I mean, the Republicans' response to the children at the border is that they're bringing disease and drugs and that they're criminals and they're coming uh, to take away our jobs. That's the way they treat the right. children at the border. I mean, this administration has treated as a humanitarian crisis, bringing in the Red Cross, bringing in uh, health and human services. And so the first thing is to treat the children well. Many thousands of them have already reunited with families here. I believe, as probably you do, that there is a process in place, and so we're going to have to discuss that. But part of it is we are going to need additional funds if we're going to protect the children we and treat them up. We'll see if we get And, and, and here's, here's, what I would, here's what I would say to the President of the United States. Look, everybody that qualified Everybody that qualified for relief under the Senate version of immigration yep. reform, the president should figure out a way to give them relief. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, that is a bold, bold call. Thank you very much. Coming Thank up, you. the good news out of the Supreme Court today. Good news if, you know, you're a glasses half full type of person. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, unalienable rights that can never be taken